Dozens of rockets launched from Gaza streaked over Israel tonight with heavy Israeli airstrikes in return as violence spiral between Israelis and Palestinians. In a speech this evening, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that militants in Gaza will pay a heavy price. Since last night, 28 people have been killed in Gaza and in Israel, three people were killed today. John Yang reports on the day's developments. Tonight, a barrage of rockets fired from Gaza into Israel lit up the sky as the latest cycle of violence between Israel and the Palestinians escalates. Some were intercepted by Israel's air defense system called Iron Dome. Tel Aviv residents ran for shelter as air raid sirens sounded through the city. The militant Palestinian group Hamas said the rockets were in response to an earlier Israeli airstrike on a Gaza residential building. Among the dead in another Israeli airstrike this morning, an 11-year-old boy. Why did they kill him? They kill and there is no one to make them answer for it. The whole world is watching. It doesn't matter if they kill a child or a woman. There is no one to hold them accountable for it. Across the Gaza Strip, others gathered at morgues to search for their loved ones. Israeli rocket fire into Gaza began last night as families broke their fast for the holy month of Ramadan. Israel says it was responding to earlier rockets fired toward Jerusalem from the militant group Hamas. We were just sitting outside the house waiting to break our fast. Children aged eight months were killed. Mohammed, who was getting married in five days, was killed. Girls between the ages of seven to nine years old died. How is this the children's fault? We were just sitting outside the house, waiting for the call to prayer. Israeli airstrikes killed more than 25 people, including nine children. The Israeli government says it's targeting Hamas members. Nearby in the Israeli city of Ashkelon, people huddled near their homes as air raid sirens blared, warning of Palestinian rocket attacks. Hamas shot more than 250 rockets toward Israel in the last 24 hours. The group says it initially fired rockets to defend Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque, one of Islam's holiest sites. Today, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to continue the campaign. <laughs> We are at the height of a campaign. Since yesterday, the Israel Defense Forces executed hundreds of attacks on Hamas and Islamic Jihad in Gaza. At the conclusion of a situational assessment, it was decided that both the might of the attacks and the frequency of the attacks will be increased. Hamas will be getting blows it didn't expect. This latest round of violence has been fueled by claims over Jerusalem. Tensions are high in the city because of the potential eviction of six Palestinian families from their Jerusalem homes. Last weekend, Israeli forces injured more than 900 Palestinians in East Jerusalem and more than 200 in the West Bank, according to the Palestinian Red Crescent Society. Today, the United Nations voiced concern over the escalating violence. Certainly what we're seeing is extremely worrying and Certainly when you see the treatment of some of the protesters and even people who weren't protesting, people who were simply praying or people who were having their iftar, uh, who've, who've been subjected to, to violence um, or, or completely unprovoked uh, <clears throat> responses by the security forces. After meeting his Jordanian counterpart today, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Palestinian rocket attacks on Israel should stop. Needless to say, we're very focused on the, uh, the situation in Israel, uh, West Bank, uh, Gaza, uh, very deeply concerned uh, about the rocket attacks that we are seeing now uh, that uh, need to stop and need to stop immediately. It's imperative that, that all sides take steps to uh, de-escalate and, and calm the situation. And again, I'm deeply concerned about the, the rocket attacks. And even as all sides take steps to de-escalate, Israel, of course, has a right to defend it's, uh, it's people in its territory. In Bethlehem overnight, protesters threw stones at Israeli police as Israeli soldiers fired back with tear gas. Across multiple cities in the West Bank and Israel, Palestinians rallied in support of Jerusalem. <laughs> this evening, the unrest shows no signs of waning, with millions of civilians on both sides caught in between. 
For the PBS NewsHour, I'm John Yang.